Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. It's your Coruscant Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines. We are going to talk about Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron lead testing. It's fantastic. Can be countered, though. Quite easily, actually. Uh, we'll talk about a couple of counters. We'll talk about a couple of teams that it can beat, a couple of galactic legends it can beat, and why that might be a fluke if you've seen that on other places. But uh, Qui-Gon Jinn. I have not applied an Omicron yet. I have exactly 20. I might apply it. Uh, the first footage we're going to look at is uh, some test footage sent. All this test footage is just stuff that, you know, guys have sent me in the Discord uh, for purposes for this video. Shout out to Unity, one of my favorite uh, members on the Discord. 69 views. Very nice. Let's hop in here. And if I believe this, this is a slightly not so quick uh, Bounty Hunter squad. Uh, this is probably one of the squads that a lot of people are going to want to know how it fares against. He does have Cam in here. And I feel like he's he's kind of outclassed this particular Bounty Hunter squad. But as you can see, we're kind of just seeing that there's some pretty solid numbers. There's some pretty solid damage numbers. Lots of offense. Um, and this is going to be one of those things where if you take this on offense against, you know, an okay team that's not super strong, you're going to see big damage. And you're probably going to get good banners in the sense that a lot of powerful teams in that mid game can get you good banners because you can just kill stuff so fast you saw there um what was that 169k on like just a random basic yeah 169k um on a basic uh and that's basically you know cam stat sharing but you know qui-gon Jin hasn't died the massive 400 percent offense hasn't gone out and anakin is going to be one of the essential essential characters to the squad um i have a four-star cam i'll probably be running cam in there as well now, the Dark Lord, another one of our members who sent me test footage for us to use, um, beats Darth Revan. This is a lot of people are saying that Darth Revan is the matchup to look for. I, I get that we're in an episode of AP Gains at night where it's AP Gains, but it's dark. So you can't see me, guys. We're trying to get 15,000 subscribers. When we do, we will invade Capital Games headquarters, steal their one laptop, take control of Capital Games' prize possession, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes itself, and give every player one cup shard. If you want to have one free cup shard, subscribe. Um... Darth Revan is the squad that a lot of people are saying it beats or it doesn't beat. I think the we're going to talk about the counters to this. Um, anything that's faster than it is better than it. <laughs> CLS, uh, Gridden has a great video on CLS, basically just absolutely poops on this. Darth Revans that are faster will poop on this. Um, let's just see uh, Unity's testing, though. This does appear to be uh, the situation where, you know, not exactly the optimal Darth Revan team. So I don't know if this is a good indication of uh, just how this matchup is going to go. Am I liking, like, 0% speed here? No, I guess it's normal. He's just playing on 2 times speed for some reason. Um, <laughs> but we can see a lot of uh, a lot of good damage numbers just because of the uh, the 30 times speed offense that you're gaining. Um, and this is another situation where on offense, if you go against a team, and I know this is a Darth Revan team, and... You know, it's a little controversial because it's not a very good Darth Revan team. Um, let's just substitute this Darth Revan team for kind of like the bounty hunter we saw in the last clip. Or, you know, a First Order squad. Or just a squad in general where you think you're outclassed. You're going to do so much damage that maybe if you can get out fast enough, you can kill them and get high banner. It's not that that really matters anymore. Um, but I'm pretty sure we just AoE'd, uh, AoE'd Darth Revan to death. Uh, only 60k across the board, which is actually, you know, not actually that good. Um, but that was, you know, on a Genonite Revan AoE, 90,000 on the basic against Malak, which is solid. Let's see what Qui Gon Jinn does here. You know, not not a crit. Come on, I want big ban. I want big damage numbers here, boys. Why are you playing a one time speed? Okay, you did basically nothing. Okay. <laughs> so Darth Revan along with CLS are probably the teams that um do not fare particularly well against this especially if they're faster and then we're going to go into this um this last is going to be uh ray versus qui-gon this is going to be qui-gon on defense a lot of people are interested in you know i can use this on offense but it's not going to be great banners and it kind of relies on itself dying so what happens if my opponent does this or what if i place this on defense what is my opponent going to have to realistically use to counter this so this is Ray. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's speed it up a little bit because a lot of these people take a little bit too long to do their stuff. One point five times speed plus on four times speeds is going to be a very very fast battle. Excuse me. But how is this going to perform 
on defense. A lot of you guys are applying this as your first Omicron. I think we can probably slow it down to one time speed now that the battle is actually starting. You guys are going to apply this, and you guys are probably going to be like me. I'm going to apply it, and I'm probably going to stick it on defense. Actually, I don't even know if I'm going to apply it at this point because it is so easily countered by a lot of stuff. CLS, Darth Revan, Bounty Hunters with Zam, Omicron, anything that's really fast, uh, really take advantage because if you, you can whittle them down and get out of there early, um, obviously, I guess, if you're using a Galactic Legend versus this, it negates um, the uh, the part of the Omicron that makes him like, super juicy. Um, but, uh, you know, him not, the other allies not being able to die before he dies. But if you're using a, if you're using a Galactic Legend versus, uh, <laughs> versus Qui-Gon Jinn, then, uh, you're probably winning as the person who used the Qui-Gon Jinn, forcing someone to use a Galactic Legend, uh, versus your <laughs> Qui-Gon Jinn. But it is nice to just actually see how it, uh, how it reacts on defense. So this is one of the situations where, not necessarily the fact that you're using Galactic Legend, but if you can stun them, if you can control them, even though they might have huge offensive numbers, like if they don't actually take a turn after gaining all that offense, it doesn't matter if they have a billion offense. If they don't actually get a turn to use that offense, it doesn't matter. So this is why teams like CLS, Darth Revan with his fear mechanic especially, probably stuff like Bad Batch are going to counter this pretty well because if you can get out early, take control of the turn meter, take control of the stuns, control the field in general... It doesn't matter how how hard these guys hit as long as you're able to just absolutely poo poo them and prevent them from doing anything as you can see here this is overkill outstanding overkill but nevertheless um just that that general sense of controlling the uh the qui-gon Jin team is going to be how you guys actually counter uh the qui-gon Jin team itself so Will I be applying this as my first Omicron? Honestly, I was going to. It looks super good, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like something being, yes, if you have to use Darth Revan or a solid CLS or, you know, Jedi Knight Luke, then maybe it will be an advantage just to force your opponent maybe on the front wall to use a team that you don't, that they don't want to use until the back wall or maybe they want to save. So maybe you'll get GAC value there. But honestly, even though I'm even in a good spot, you know, I have uh, Jedi Master Kenobi, so I have a couple of, uh, you know, random uh, Galactic Republic Jedi laying around. I finally have Kiata Mundi, even though he's at four stars, he will share some stats, which should be helpful. I don't know if this is the Omicron that I really want to apply right now, as opposed to just waiting to see if a better one uh, comes down the line. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Saturday, we do have a charity live stream. Shout out to the 6%. 6%, your prompt for the day. Um, what's your prompt for the day? That's actually a great question. What is the craziest thing that you guys think that I can get away with on my Saturday stream on Twitch for charity without like breaching every single Twitch terms of service agreement ever created? Let me know in the comment section. As always, I love you guys and I'll see you later.